Shalom. Let me start by giving all praise, honor, and glory. I tell you, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Raka, Kodash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and mercy to the house of David. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, who the world calls God. Yahweh Shai is the true name of the Heavenly Father's only God and Son, who the world refers to as Jesus Christ. Bahasham is in the name. Raka HaKodash is the Holy Spirit. Also, Shalom to the 144,000 men. That's laboring is true for the sake of Yahweh Bashan al Shai. Shalom to the innumerable multitude, men, women, and children, men, women, and children that may be listening in all truth and in sincerity. Shalom. This is your brother Kodash coming back here with another video to the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashan al Shai. And the title of this video, Lord Willem. Uh, well, uh, I'm just going to go into uh, Wisdom of Solomon in the second chapter here, really. You know, so I'll just have it maybe like Wisdom of Solomon chapter 2. All right, Lord willing, I can just read through these, read through this chapter here and uh, grab a, fruit, uh, grab a uh, precepts as I go along, you know, and our Lord willing, this is edifying. So verse 1, it says, For the ungodly said, reasoning with themselves, but not aright, our life is short and tedious, and in the death of a man there is no remedy. Neither was was there any man known to have returned from the grave. Okay, you know, so this is this is a mind frame of an Edomite, okay? The ungodly, the wicked. Okay, who are the wicked according to the scriptures? Esau Edom. Alright, when you read Malachi the first chapter. Alright, you know, so this is their this is their mind frame, you know, and that's why it says in Revelations twelve and nine you know that uh, he knew that his time was short, and he uh, he knew that he had but a short time. All right, you know, so that's why they trying to execute. You know, and that's why they they uh, uh, they overuse everything, they pollute everything. All right, because they know they have so but a short time. You know, so they just you know try to consume as much as they can. All right, try to conquer as much as the world. And use up the much as, as much as the uh, much as the world as they can. All right. It says, "For we are born at all adventure, and we shall be hereafter as though we had never been." And that is how how it's going to be. All right. You know, once Esau Edom was taken out of rulership, it's going to be as they as as if they never been in rulership. All right. It says, "For the breath and our nostrils is as smoke." And a little spark in the moving of our heart. It says, which being extinguished, our body shall be turned into ashes. All right. So the Lord puts them out of rulership. All right. And ultimately when the Lord uh, destroy them, man. All right. You know, a lot of Edomites are going to be uh, uh, caught up in that nuclear fire. Okay. A lot of heathens. Okay. Of course, two thirds of our people as well. It says, our body shall be turned into ashes. And our spirit shall vanish as the soft air, you know, because what happens to your spirit when you die? All right, it goes back uh, to the heavenly Father. Uh, let me get a quick precept just to prove that real quick. I believe it was Ecclesiastes one and three. Uh, This is uh It says like dust return. Come on, this is Ecclesiastes 12 and 7. It says, Then shall the dust return <coughs> to the earth as it was, as it was, and the <coughs> slack it. <coughs> <coughs> and the spirit shall return unto the most high who gave it. Alright, so our spirit, your spirit goes back into the heavenly father. Alright, once you uh once you die, all right, uh, 
it says in our wisdom of Solomon two and three, it says, and our spirit shall vanish as the soft air and our name shall be forgotten in time and no man shall have our works in remembrance and our life shall pass away as the trace of a cloud and shall be dispersed as a mist that is driven away with the beams of the sun and overcome with the heat thereof. And let me go to, let me go to Job. Job 20, uh, starting at verse 4, it says, Knowest thou not this of old, since man was placed upon earth, that the triumphing of the wicked is short, and the joy of a hypocrite but for a moment? Okay, so the triumph of the wicked is short. All right? You know, so Esau, he's going to be, uh, he was in rulership for only a short time. Okay, especially in the uh, in the eyes of the Heavenly Father. All right, it says, though his excellency mount up to the heavens and his head reach unto the clouds, yet he shall perish forever like his own dung. They which have seen him shall say, where is he? Okay, so, so his, his, uh, his remembrance is going to be taken away. It says, he shall fly away as a dream and shall not be found, yea, he shall be chased away as a vision of the night. He shall fly away as a dream and shall not be found, all right? You know, so Esau, his his works, everything that he's doing now, is it's all for naught, man. All right, that's why we always say two-thirds of our people join in hand in hand with the wicked. You know, you're not going to go out and punish, okay? Your works also is going to vanish away, man. All right? You, you, your works won't be remembered, Okay? It says, the eye also which saw him shall see him no more, neither shall his place any more behold him. Okay? Hey, so hey, Esau, they're going to be in pits, man. And ultimately, after a thousand years of captivity, all right, they're, they're going to vanish away. All right? The Lord is going to do away with the Edomite. All right? You'll never see a so-called uh, red man. Well, not a so-called. You'll never see a, a, another... Uh, unmelanated red man again after Esau is put out, man. Okay. Going back to uh, Wisdom of Solomon, the second chapter. It says, uh, back to verse, uh, down to verse five, it says, for our time is a very shadow that passeth away, all right, hey, hey, as uh, shall fly away as a dream. Okay, it says, and after our end, there is no returning, for it is fast sealed, so that no man cometh again. Come on, therefore, let us enjoy the good things that are present, and let us speedily use the creature like as in youth. You see, so that's why, you know, it's, it's a microwave society, man. Okay, because because of Esau Edom, you know he, uh, you know he he he, mil he even to the point where with the milk, all right, because they they uh they milk they even try to milk baby cow, you know they milk the cows when the uh when the um when they're when they're not even ready, therefore you have uh blood and pus in the milk. That's why. Uh, whole milk, you know, is not good for you, man. Okay, it's just pus. You know, makes you, makes you, uh, makes you have like man titties, you know, and things of that nature. Okay, because Esau Edom is, it's like uh, such a hurry for him. You know, it says, uh, let us for let us fill ourselves with costly wine and ointments. And let no flower of the spring pass by us. They, they trying to get everything, man. They need it all. You know? Let me uh let me grab this real quick. Uh Obadiah. Obadiah verse five, it says, If these came to thee, if robbers by night, how art thou cut off? 
would they not have stolen till they had enough? If the gape gatherers came to thee, would they not leave some grapes? You see, so Esau, you know, he that's, that's his mind frame. All right, he he wants everything. He gonna take it all, man. All right, it says, let not a a flower pass by us in the spring, man. Okay, it says verse eight. It says, let us crown ourselves with rosebuds before they be withered. Let none of us go without his part of voluptuousness. So they want it all. It says, let us leave tokens of our joyfulness in every place. For this is our portion and our lot is this. You see? Hey, so the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. It says, let us leave tokens of our joyfulness, man. All right, tokens is, is like signs, man. Okay, and that's what they do. You know, they, they call the uh, places after their names. Okay, they leave they, they, they leave a stamp, you know, on, on things that they do. Different monuments that they have. Okay. All right, they had that one statue. Uh, I believe it was taken down. Of that, um, it was like a horse and you had this, uh, the servant... You had the little children at the bottom and the, and uh and somebody on a horse, really like an Edomite. All right, going back to the scripture, I have seen service upon horses, uh, and uh princes walking upon the earth. Roughly paraphrasing, man. Alright, it says verse ten, let us oppress the poor righteous man. This is how you know this. This is this is the mind frame of the wicked. It says, Let us oppress the righteous, the poor righteous man okay all right oppress let's go to that word oppress here it says to press unduly upon against or against overburden oh so you see us getting paid every two weeks every week that's that's a that's a uh that's a overburden now we packed up on bills all right you know, it says overwhelm, overpower. You see? They have these unrighteous decrees, man. All right, it's just so hard, you know, for an Israelite man, also due to the curses, all right, but it's so hard for an Israelite man to come up in this society, okay, because there's uh, so many different stip uh, stipulations, man. All right? Charging us interest. You know, you can go up, all up and down the list. Uh, last hire, first fire, okay? It says unjust exercise of power, okay? Our people are uh, un uh, unjustly, you know, uh, pretty much crucified, you know, all the time, man. All right? Look at Trayvon Martin shot down in the streets for having a hoodie and uh and buying some Skittles in Arizona. Buying an Arizona and Skittles, man. All right. This is uh, back to Wisdom of Solomon, the second chapter. And uh, verse 10 again says, So it says, let us oppress the the poor righteous, poor righteous man. You see, hey, we already uh, poor. And here it is, they, they continue to overburden us, put too much, all right, overloading us, you know, with different bills, different uh, obstacles that we got to go through, all right? Not on the fact that we, uh, we work for them, all right, they treat us like shit, all right? It says, let us oppress the poor righteous man. Let us not spare the widow, nor reverence the ancient gray hairs of the age. They don't have any respect uh, to our uh, our elders, man. Okay, they, they can give two, two shits, you know, if you're an elderly Israelite man, man. All right, you're just another nigga in their eyes. All right, it says, let, verse 11, let our strength be the law of justice. For that which is feeble is found to be nothing worth. Therefore, 
let us lie in wait for the righteous. And that's what they do going to back to Psalms, uh, the 10th chapter. Okay. You know, but it says, therefore, let us lie in wait for the righteous. Because he is not for our turn. And he is clean contrary to our doings. You know, that's why they, you know, they're building a case on Hebrew Israelites, man. Those that are going against the grain. Okay, speaking up against the uh, the fake J.E.W.s. Okay. Calling out all the bullshit that's going on, you know, in this world. It says, uh, because he is not for our turn and he is clean contrary to our doing so they want to make themselves look righteous you know so therefore they're going to try to put down you know the word of the lord all right make us look like we're evil we're terrorists it says he upbraideth us with our offending the law and that's what the elect do all right we upbraid you know we, we pretty much curse cursing out esau man all right with his offending of the law of Yahweh by Shmuel Shai, all right, turning uh, LGBT, you know, these transformers, making them seem like they have a right, all right, they got more rights than an Israelite man, all right, it says, an objective to our uh, infamy, the transgressions of our education, all right, because they, the way they bring up, you know, the way they train our children in the school systems, all right, even in the shows that they provide for the children, all right? You know, it's it's a way that's going to lead your child to be a sodomite, all right? Or your daughter a, a, a harlot, your man, uh, your son effeminate, all right? It's, it's going to lead you down to a, uh, to a destructive path. That's why the scripture says, train up a child in the way that he should go. All right, verse 13, it says, he professeth to have the knowledge of the Most High. And this is wisdom of Solomon. So this is from our Lord Yahweh Shai, if you can receive it. It says, he professeth to have the knowledge of the Most High. And he calleth himself the child of, of the Lord. And that's what we do. Okay, we call ourselves the children, uh, the children of Israel. All right, God's chosen people, man. And we do profess that we have the knowledge of the Most High, man. Okay, because the Lord has given His, uh, has given His, uh, His Spirit unto the elect. All right, this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding is, has been given to the elect. It says He was made to reprove our thoughts. All right, you know that's what we're doing. We're starting with the apostles, elders, brothers on down. We are correcting, you know. The uh, the different information that Esau Edom has put out, all right, his his wicked imaginations, all right, casting down strongholds. It says he is grievous unto us even to behold. Hey, hey Esau Edom hates you niggas, man. That's why the scripture says, let me grab this, to never trust our enemies. It says he is grievous unto us to behold, man. They don't like looking at us. And we don't like looking at them niggas either, man. All right? So, all right, 10 and 12, uh, 12 and 10, never trust thine enemy. For like as iron rusteth, so is his wickedness, man. Okay? So, just as iron rusts, his that wickedness going to rust, man. All right? It says, though he humble himself and go crouching, yet to, yet take good heed and beware of him. All right? So, they, even though he may... Smile on your face. They're going to backstab you, man. The words of their mouth may be smooth as butter. All right. But war, them looking to kill you is in their heart, man. It's in their mind. It says, and thou shalt be unto him as if thou has wiped a looking glass. And thou shalt know that his rust hath not altogether been wiped away. All right. And that rust go, is going to appear, man. All right. So going back to Wisdom of Solomon 2. In verse 15, he is grievous unto us even to behold, for his life is not like other men's. His ways are of another fashion. Okay, showing you that there's a major difference between Jacob 
And the rest of these nations but definitely Esau Edom. All right, it says, Scripture said, two manner of people shall be in thy womb, man. Right? All right, so two different, totally uh, different conducts, man. Two manner of people. Okay? Two different spirits. And, that's, and that word manner, it says, kind, sort, variety, fashion. All right, so the Lord fashioned the Israelites and uh, and the Edomites in a totally different fashion, man. All right, one was fashioned to be wicked, one was fashioned to be righteous. All right, so we're clean contrary. All right, verse 16 says, we are esteemed of him. As counterfeits, frauds, man. And that's what we view Esau Edom. Scripture says what? They are forgers of lies. Something that's counterfeit is a lie, man. All right? Counterfeit money, that's fake money. All right? So they, they put out false information. All right? They're forger of lies, man. Let me just go to that real quick and joke. This is Job 13 and 4 says, But ye are forgers of lies. Ye are all physicians of no value. All right. That's Esau Edom, forger of lies, man. All right. He's, he's the father of it. Um, back to Wisdom of Solomon, though. Wisdom of Solomon 16, verse 16 says, We are esteemed of him as counterfeits. He, he abstaineth from our ways as from filthiness, okay? Because they are abominable, okay? Any profane is Esau, man, all right? It says he pronounces the end of the just to be blessed, all right? Hey, salvation is going to be granted to the elect. It says, and maketh his boast that the Most High is his father, all right? And we call Yahweh Yahweh Shai. You know, our, our father, Yahweh is, is our father, man. All right, and that's the same thing Yahweh, Yahweh Shai did. He confessed to be uh, that that, he, that Yahweh was his father as well. All right, and we're coming in that same stead, you know, with Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. Verse 17 says, let us see if his words be true and let us prove what shall happen in the end of him. You know, and, hey, you saw him, he going he to take us... He gonna take us to the test, man. All right. All right. Really, uh, uh, the Lord using Satan through Esau, Edom, man. All right, to push us into the end. All right, because he's gonna try the whole world. All right. You know that hour of temptations have come upon the whole world. Okay. You know, so he, the Lord, the Lord is gonna prove us. Okay, using Esau, Edom. It says, let us see if his words be true. Let us prove what shall happen in the end of him. And also, that same thing Yahweh Shah, he had to do. All right, and he proved himself, man. It says, for if the just man be the son of the Most High, he will help him and deliver him from the hand of his enemies. And that's what the Lord is going to do. All right, okay. We go to Isaiah 59. And also, when we think of Yahweh Shah, you know, he was able to rise up on that third day. All right, conquering death. Okay, and the Lord going to do for his elect, Isaiah 59 and 19, so shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, okay, Esau, Edom, the spirit of the Lord, Yahweh, shall lift up a standard against him. All right, so the Lord's going to put, give spiritual powers to his elect members, all right, to come up against Esau, Edom, when they come in like a flood. This is uh, Isaiah 40, Isaiah 40 in verse, verse 29, it says, He giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might, he increaseth strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young man shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord Yahweh shall renew their strength. Okay, hey, with those new bodies, spiritual powers, they shall mount up the, the wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. 
they shall walk and not faint. Okay, and in a, in a time of uh, of all hell breaking loose, you, you're gonna know who 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 the Lord's chosen are. All right, jumping back to Wisdom of Solomon two and verse. 18 says, for if the just man be the son of God, he will help him and deliver him from the hand of his enemies. Let us examine him with despitefulness and torture that we may know his meekness and prove his patience. You see, so the Lord is going to try us through Esau and him so we can prove our patience, our endurance. All right, trying to torture you, see if you're going to fold. Okay, but true men in the Lord, they're going to, uh, they're going to endure until the end. All right. Those that endure to the end, the same shall be saved. So we got to endure these different uh, tests. All right. Because yeah, Esau, you know, he may try to torture you. All right. And you're going to keep faith in Yahweh by Shemuel All right. Because the Lord, he's not going to put too much on you that you can't handle. All right. And the Lord, hey, if you continue to have faith, the Lord might give you spiritual powers to where when they start to torture you, torture you all right. Hey, the, the Lord makes you to get a way out of it, man. All right? Nothing is too far-fetched for the Lord. Verse 20 says, Let us condemn him with a shameful death, for by his own saying he shall be respected. Such things they did imagine and were deceived, for their own wickedness have blinded them. See, these, this is what they imagine. Okay? But, hey, the Lord is going to have mercy upon his elect. Let me get that. Wisdom of Solomon 3 and verse 9 says, They that put their trust in him shall understand the truth, and such as be faithful in love shall abide with him. For grace and mercy is to his saints, and he have care for his elect. So the elect, the Lord ain't going to let the elect, you know, go through all that, man. All right? You know, there's going to be martyrs for the truth, man. Hey, but the Lord might... Might have it to where you don't even feel it when they chop your head off, man. All right, because we go to this third chapter, it, it, that's the balance, man. I'll just read that first one. It says, But the souls of the righteous are in the hand of the Most High, and there shall no torment touch them. In the sight of the unwise, they seem to die, and their departure taken from misery. It says, And they're going from us to be utter destruction, but they are in peace. You see, so the Lord. The Lord is going to take care of his elect. That's why I want to read verse 21 again. But such things they did imagine, they imagined it, it says, and were deceived, all right? For their own wickedness have blinded them, all right? So the Lord puffed them up with so much pride, they think they're going to be able to, you know, accomplish their new world order, you know, defeat Yahweh Shai, okay? You know, but they're going to go down, man. Plain and simple. Verse 22, as for the mysteries of the Most High, they knew them not, neither hoped they for the wages of righteousness, nor discerned a reward for blameless souls. Why? Because the Lord gave them over to, you know, to wickedness. They were programmed to be wicked. It says, for God created man to be immortal and made him to be an image of his own eternity. Nevertheless, through envy of the devil came death into the world. And they that do hold of his side do find it. All right. Hey, from the beginning, the Lord planned it out. You know, to have that serpent in the garden, which in reincarnation is Esau Edom, all right, you know, to to have sin enter into the world, all right, through Eve, you see, you know, choosing that weaker vessel, you know, but the Lord has it us to us now to where coming back to our heritage, man, all right. All right. and, then, and when the Lord, when the Lord comes back, all right, uh, He's gonna defeat death. Let me actually end it off with that. First Corinthians fifteen. First Corinthians fifteen and fifty five says, "O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory?" You see, because the Lord, when he come back, hey, he's going to conquer death. It says death and hell shall be cast into the lake of fire. All right. It's going to be complete immortality for the Israelites, how the Lord created it to be. All right. 
you know, but wages of sin is death. All right. And the laws was given to the Israelites. So this is only for the Israelites. You see what the Lord is going to uh, get the victory. Uh, the Lord already got the victory over, over death. He's going to give us the victory over death. All right. By changing our vile bodies, man. All right, so with that, you know, Lord willing, this video was that a fine. I'm going to close, give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha, Kodash, the bonus to the apostles and elders of Ray Millstone, peace and mercy to the house of David, to the next lesson I say, Shalom, and the Baba Ball, Shalom.